Hey guys, Starlands here. Today's video, we're going to be going over something small and simple. It's not going to be a very long video. So let me explain why before we get into it all. Um, past six, six, seven days now, I, I've even stopped me streaming. Uh, I've missed a couple of streams. I've had like nerve ache in my face. It's not like been from a tooth, but it's more like it's like the nerve. My entire face has been hurting. My ear, my, you know, my temple, my cheek, my jaw, just the whole face has been hurting. It's been pretty bad. Um, it's eased a little bit at the moment, so I'm gonna get my video done now. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna be able to get a video done this week, but it's eased a bit now, so I'm gonna record it now, edit it, you know, do everything I need to. So that's why the video is gonna be a bit short, and yeah. Anyway, so in the video today, we're gonna be going over a death counter. I was thinking what to do. I had a couple of ideas of what I was gonna do this week, but I wanted something I could do that would be short, just in case it kicks back in and I don't have to be talking for ages. So we're gonna be going over a death counter because it's something you know you can use in your streaming, you know, content creation, but, you know, whatever it is you do, death counters can be useful. And maybe you don't know how to do it, you don't know how to set it up or where to get it from. So that's what we're gonna do in this video today gonna show you the website where to go and get it put the link down below and i'll show you setting it up in obs or you know streamlabs same way to do it vice versa so with all that said let's just jump straight into it and i'll show you what's what so here we are now on the computer and this is the website, uh, it's a GitHub website, I'll put the link down below, you know. Uh, so scroll down, download the DC DCSB, EXE, and I said that wrong. Um, you, don't, you don't need nothing else, you're fine with just that. So download that, I've got slobs installed, and this up and running, so, you know. Install that, uh, you won't get a shortcut after you install it, so just click on your windows, you'll see it there, and recently added, then you can just drag it on your desktop, you know, just click and drag, and... Once you have this open, what you're going to need to do, click on settings, and you're going to need to find a button to increase and decrease, uh, or next, previous, and reset. Most importantly, you want increase and decrease, so you can increase the number, decrease the number for the death counter. Once you've done that, you'll be good. Now, as well, you're going to click this, oh, actually, before you click the plus icon, I already want to step ahead and did this, when I was making stuff to install, make yourself a, a new text. Uh, make yourself a text file so whatever game you want you can have multiple text files say you've got a death counter for dark souls then you've got a death counter for dark souls 2 dark souls 3 best to come up with so you say you wanted three death counters and then you'd have three text files okay um I mean, you could just use the one and change the number but if you wanted you if you're switching between the games and you wanted to keep the number you're on on but also, you can use this death counter for other things. Um, you know, you can get creative with it. It doesn't necessarily need to be a death counter. It could be a counter for whatever you want. You know, a number on your on your screen, on your stream, or on your video of something else that you may want to change with other variables that happen. Up to you. So, but for, anyway, we'll just call it, name this Dark Souls 3 uh, death counter. So, Dark Souls 3 death counter. So, we've got a text file now. Absolutely nothing in there. So we come over to this program, we went to a settings, we've uh, hotkeyed our increase and decrease, which is number one and two. For me, click this plus icon where it'll say add counter. Now name, I'll just name this, Dark Souls 3, death counter, file. Come to desktop. Uh, do, 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 do. There it is, open. Count, zero, because we want to start from zero. I mean, you can start from whatever number you want, but you're probably going to start from zero, aren't you? Increasement one, so that means when you press the button to increase it, it's going to increase it by one. So anyway, that's done. We're good. As you can see, boom, there it is. Dark Souls 3, Death Counter. Now if I press number one, it went up. Press number one, number one, number one, number one, number, one, number two, bring it back out. That's great and all. Yeah, cool, you got it. Now you want to know how to get in OBS or slobs. That's what we'll get to now. Now, to get it on here itself, it's pretty simple, you know, in OBS, Streamlabs, Slobs, whatever. Click the Add Source icon, and you want to click Text, GDI. Add Source. Add Source. Now, just very simple what you're going to do here. The rest is all up to you customizing it. Just scroll down. It might be in a different place in, you know, OBS or the uh, Studio. Click Read from File. 
now click browse and click your text file that you made there you go just make that bigger oh there we go and as you can see there it is uh pick your font no pick your color and you're good to go you have a background color to it if you wanted Oh, I did that on background colour, not the actual colour. Oh, my bad. My bad there. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, the def count went up. That's because as I was typing in the hex colour for that colour, I pressed the number one twice. Yeah, as you can see, it all works. You know, you got this open. I press number one to put the number up. There you go. Is number three, number three. And, you know, press number two. Number comes down, number comes down. Easy peasy. Uh, you can tweak some more settings if you want. You know, you can have gradient color to it if you want. A few other settings you could look about. You know, it's, it's, it's something simple. There's a few things that you could tweak on it. But it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. And uh, just a note as well. That goes really blurry when it's big, doesn't it? We don't want it that big anyway. Um, yeah, just a note. When you finish streaming or record whatever it is you're doing and you know you finish up for the day and then the next day you stream, you record whatever it is you're doing, um you will need the def count more open. Otherwise it won't work. You know, if you if I you know, as you can see it's working, I'll put it up to seven there, this go up. If I close this, bye bye, and I press the number now. Won't work. You need that program open for it to work otherwise. But yeah, it's not gonna work so when you come in to do what you do next day make sure you open the left counter up as well as stream stream labs elements etc um, and if you go to the text file as you'll see it'll have your number saved there um that's it for this video guys that is it it was a small simple video like i said at the beginning and um, video apologize i did have a different video plan for this week uh, but I guess I'll do that next week if I feel much better, which hopefully, fingers crossed, I do because I've got a stream tomorrow. So, fingers crossed, I'm feeling much better. I mean, today's been the best day, which is why I'm doing a recording today. Uh, Thursday before the video is meant to be done. I usually do it on Monday, but it is, but, uh, yeah, it's been rough. Been rough. Been rough week. So, yeah, hopefully feel much better now and we're all good and i can stream tomorrow yeah next week i do have a different uh, you'll see it's something that i've been wanting to do for a few weeks and i haven't done yet so fingers crossed feel a little better i'll do that next week and i'll be streaming tomorrow but anyway that's it for this video guys and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video now if you like the video guys i greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this in the future be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget press the bell icon to get notified every week when a new video comes out now, uh, you'll have an amazing day, guys. I do apologize that the video was very a basic video. There wasn't a lot of information there. It wasn't something complicated I was showing you how to use. I just, I needed to get a video out. You know, I've got a video out every week. And even though I've been in pain and feel like shit, I need to get a video done. So I just did something small and simple. I do apologize. It's maybe not the best of videos I've done, but the amount of information I'm given or useful tips or, you know, but I just had to get a video done and I needed something small and simple. All right, guys, you all take care. You have an amazing day. And I'll catch you on the next video. And as always, I wish you the best of luck with streaming and content creation. And I will catch you all next time on the next video. Peace out, guys. Take care.